The Reckoning is the 145th episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 21st episode of the sixth season. It was first broadcast on April 29, 1998. Sisko is called to Bajor when an ancient tablet addressing the emissary is discovered. James Green guest stars as Coral. Academy Award-winning actress Louise Fletcher returns as the Bajoran religious bureaucrat Kai Wynn. The episode received Nielsen ratings of 4.2 points when it premiered corresponding to about 4.1 million viewers. Topic. Plot An archaeological dig on Bajor reveals an ancient tablet in an ancient Bajoran language that addresses the emissary. Captain Sisko brings the tablet to Deep Space Nine for further study, raising the ire of Kai Wynn, who protests not being consulted in advance, and resents Sisko's connection with the Prophets, as he is an outsider. Dax's analysis of the tablet reveals an upcoming event called the Reckoning possibly involving the destruction of the station, and during which Bajor will experience great suffering. Meanwhile, the wormhole begins to behave erratically, causing disturbances on both the station and the planet. Wynne attributes this to Sisko's possession of the tablet and forces him to agree to return it to the planet in the morning. That night, however, Sisko becomes frustrated at the prophets and feels compelled to smash the tablet, which releases red and blue vapors that dissipate into the station. Kai Win is furious, but Sisko states his belief that he is doing the prophets' will. The station begins to experience mysterious power fluctuations, and the crew soon discover that Major Kira has become possessed by the Blue Mist, a prophet, which is exuding intense power. The prophet reveals that it is waiting for a Pa Wraith to battle it in the Reckoning. Most of the senior staff strongly recommend flooding the promenade with radiation that would force the being to leave Kira, but Sisko refuses to interfere with the prophets, and Odo states that he believes she is a willing participant. Sisko evacuates the station, but Kai Win stays behind to witness the conflict, as Bajoran prophecies indicate that the prophets' victory in the battle will result in a golden age for Bajor. The Pa Wraith then appears, having taken over the body of Jake Sisko, and the two begin to face off on the promenade, creating a dangerous energy buildup. Sisko orders the last of the crew to evacuate, but refuses to leave his son behind, believing the Prophets will not allow him to be killed. With the Prophet appearing to have the advantage, but both adversaries showing wounds from the struggle, Wynne executes the command to flood the promenade with radiation, interrupting the conflict and forcing both beings to leave. After her recovery, Kira accuses Wynne of intervening out of jealousy over Sisko's greater faith, and warns her she will have to answer for the consequences of her actions. 